Hello and welcome to Finance Work. Uh, in this video, we'll check uh, DCF valuation, that is discounted cash flow valuation. DCF is uh, one of the important valuations in equity research and uh, as an analyst, you should know how to uh, do DCF valuation. Uh, in this video, the, I've made uh, two parts, DCF valuation 1 and 2. Uh, we'll check uh, what we are going to cover in this uh, video. Okay, so in this chapter, uh, we'll cover meaning of uh, intrinsic value. What is intrinsic value? Uh, then income-based valuation approaches. Difference in FCFF and FCFE. We'll check the difference. Okay, so... Uh, in this module, uh, every step is explained with calculation so that uh, you uh, will understand the input required for the calculation and how to arrive at the final value, that is value per share. Uh, we'll start with uh, income-based valuation approaches. There are three methods under income-based valuation. First is dividend discount model. Uh, okay, so... Uh, uh, we'll check uh, dividend discount model first. Second, we'll uh, go to free cash flow to firm, that is FCFF. And then uh, we'll cover uh, FCFE, that is free cash flow to equity. Okay, these are three income-based valuation approaches. Now we'll first see dividend discount model, DDM or Gordon growth model. Okay. So, uh, a model for determining the intrinsic value of a stock based on a future series of dividends that grow at a constant rate. So, what is this model about? This model is uh, for determining the intrinsic value of a stock based on a future series of dividends that grow at a constant rate. Uh, given, a dis given a dividend per share that is payable in one year and the assumption that the dividend grows at a constant rate in perpetuity, the model solves for the uh, present value of the infinite series of future dividends. So, uh, the, this model is uh, important for companies that, gives, uh, that give a constant uh, rate of uh, dividend okay so let's check formula what is formula formula is equal to uh, or stock value is equal to p is equal to d by k by g now what is d d here is expected dividend per share one year from now so this is expected dividend k is equal to required rate of return for equity investor G is equal to growth rate in uh, dividends in perpetuity. Uh, since the model assumes a constant growth rate, it is uh, generally only used for mature companies or broad market indices with low to moderate growth rates. So, for example, uh, ABC Limited gave rupees 25 dividend for year 2011-12 and is expected to grow it by 20% next year. Cost of equity is 14% and expected growth in dividend is 10% forever. Okay, so uh, DDM here is equal to uh, 30 divided by 0.14 minus 0.10 that is rupees 750 so this value is uh, arrived as per dividend discount model or ddm in this we need to know uh, three aspects first is d so uh, that is expected divided uh, dividend next year here we have taken 30 then k k is equal to cost of equity it is 14% uh, so uh, if you look at uh, last uh, uh, column so it is 0.14 and growth rate so expected growth rate is in dividend is 10% forever so it is 10% uh, or 0 0.10 so 30 divided by 0 0.14 minus 0 0.10 is equal to rupees 750 
Okay, so this was about dividend discount model. Let's move to uh, next model that is free cash flow to firm FCFF. What is FCFF? Uh, it is a measure of financial performance that expresses the net amount of cash that is generated for the firm consisting of expenses, taxes and changes in net working capital and investments. Uh, formula for a free cash flow to firm is equal to operating cash flow minus expenses minus taxes. Uh, minus changes in net working capital minus changes in investments so this is formula for FCFF now how to calculate FCFF valuation let's see the different steps in FCFF valuation okay first is take the sales figure second step is deduct operating expenses from it you will get EBIT figure, EBIT figure. Third is multiply EBIT with 1 minus tax rate. Fourth is deduct capital expenditures minus depreciation figure from it. Next deduct change in working capital figure from it. Then you will get FCFA figure that is free cash flow to firm. Calculate cost of a capital for the firm. And next is assume expected growth rate for the company. It should not be significantly higher than the nominal growth rate of the economy. So these are the steps in FCFF valuation. So as per FCFF valuation, value of the firm is equal to FCFF into 1 plus expected growth rate divided by cost of capital minus expected growth rate. Okay. So this was about uh, FCFF valuation or uh, you can in short you can say FCFF uh, into 1 uh, plus G into K minus G. So this is formula for FCFF. Now let's move to uh, next uh, part that is FCFE. So what is FCFE? Meaning, this is a measure of how much cash can be paid to the equity shareholders of the company after all expenses, reinvestment and debt repayment. So earlier FCFF was about firm. Here FCFE is about equity shareholders. I repeat, this is a measure of how much cash can be paid to the equity shareholders of the company after all expenses, reinvestment and debt repayment. What is formula? Formula for FCFE is net income minus net capital expenditures minor, minus change in net working capital plus new debt or minus debt repayment. In short, FCFE is equal to FCFF minus debt repayments plus new debt issued. So this was about FCFE. So we in this video we covered a uh, difference between FCFF and FCFE. Uh, we also uh, uh, saw how to calculate uh, intrinsic value as per a dividend discount model or Gordon growth model. Uh, in next video we'll cover a discounted cash uh, flow valuation in detail.